an investigation into the great deception perpetrated by the Vatican since 1959. Lucia dos Santos, at the age of 10, Francisco Marto, age 8, and Jacinta Marto, age 7, were graced on May 13, 1917, in the middle of the Great War, with the vision of the woman who would ultimately reveal herself as the Lady of the Rosary. These visions were to take place on the 13th of every month until October 13, 1917. The only time in which this did not happen was in August when the children were kidnapped and threatened with boiling in oil by the Masonic administrator of Fatima. Even though the lady would appear to the children on August 19th, this was the first time that the children of Fatima would have their lives threatened for not denying that they had seen the apparition and also because they refused to reveal the secret entrusted to them by the lady. The oldest child, Lucia, was the seer who saw, heard, and spoke to the Blessed Virgin Mary during the apparitions. She was told that though Francisco and Jacinta would be taken to heaven soon, she was to be the lady's messenger, meant to use her life to spread the message of Fatima, devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and to the Rosary, and the one who would be entrusted with the request that Russia be consecrated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, so that a reign of peace would be given to mankind and Russia would be converted from her errors. At the request of Lucia, the lady agreed to perform a miracle on October 13, 1917 at midday, so that all may believe. This miracle of the sun took place on October 13, 1917, with 70,000 people witnessing the greatest public miracle since the resurrection. Believers and those who had come to mock experienced what they believed to be the end of the world. The great solar miracle made the devout and the scoffers fall down on their knees and beg for forgiveness. News of such a miracle and the message that it was meant to validate was entrusted to Lucia, the visionary who entered the Dorothean order in Spain in order to fulfill her mission. In 1948, she entered the Carmelite order in Coimbra, Portugal. This was done with the approval of Monsignor Giovanni Battista Montini and the cooperation of Father Jose Maria Escriva of Opus Dei. Her last attempt to fulfill the mission entrusted to her was on December 26, 1957, when she gave an interview to Father Augustin Fuentes. In this stark and apocalyptic interview, Sister Lucy said that, Satan is in the mood for a final battle with the Blessed Virgin Mary. In this battle, all must take a side. Do not expect the hierarchy of the Church to call you to do penance. The last means which God offers to us is devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and devotion to the Rosary. Our Lady has given a special efficacy during this time to the recitation of the Rosary. Then suddenly, something happened. The October 28, 1958 election of Angelo Roncalli as John XXIII heralded a new orientation in the Catholic Church. The expected announcement of the Third Secret did not take place as expected by the Catholic world. It was put out on July 1959 that, quote, Sister Lucy has no more to say about Fatima, unquote. But much more happened. It began to appear to the public on May 13, 1967, with the appearance of a woman as Sister Lucy who, in appearance, age, mood, demeanor, and basic maxillofacial structure, did not resemble the true seer of Fatima. What had happened? Doctored pictures were put out in June 1967. From that moment on, the real Sister Lucy disappeared 
and a new woman, an imposter, emerged and assumed her identity. The woman meeting with John Paul II in 1982 after his attempted assassination, and in the years afterwards, until the event in Fatima in 2000, where it was announced that the third secret would be revealed, to the applause and affirmation of the woman assumed to be Sister Lucy. How could such an epic deception take place? Who was responsible? Why did they do it? In 2017, Dr. Peter Hoynowski, an American professor with a PhD from Fordham University and years of research and lecturing experience on the topic of Fatima, founded Sister Lucy Truth, Inc. to discover the real history of Sister Lucy dos Santos of Fatima. From June 28, 2018, when the first facial recognition tests on hundreds of photographs of Sister Lucy from her childhood until her purported death, reported that the Sister Lucy prior to 1967 was a different individual from the woman that assumed the identity of Sister Lucy of Fatima beginning on May 13, 1967. Since then, Sister Lucy Truth has commissioned handwriting experts, facial recognition companies, and university departments, presented the material to plastic surgeons, dentists, superfacial recognizers, the world's best forensic artist, an international conference of ophthalmologists, and a dozen private investigators to analyze the evidence. From this work, emerged the unanimous decision that there was an imposter in the place of the real sister Lucy of Fatima. In fact, Professor Lois Gibson, who holds the Guinness Book of World Record for identifying the most criminals with her forensic art, reported that, quote, due to the various completely different facial structures of individual A compared to individual B, it is impossible these are the same woman, unquote. How did this crime happen? What happened? Who can be held accountable? Help Sister Lucy Truth find out. We will not give up. SisterLucyTruth.org Thank you.